Well, the total solar eclipse blanketed almost the entire Mahoning Valley, some parts of it more than others. It was a sight to behold. First News reporter Jacob Thompson has the science end of the story. After a while of waiting, the total solar eclipse came to the Mahoning Valley. A once-in-a-lifetime event. YSU's Ward Beecher Planetarium took a little bit more of a science route for their event at Foxconn in Lordstown. Telescopes for the public. When the shadow of the moon starts crossing the sun, uh, we'll be able to look at that through the telescopes too. NASA sent three rockets into the atmosphere, studying the corona of the sun, the layer of sunlight you can only see with a total solar eclipse. And that's sort of where the beauty and the mystique of a total solar eclipse comes from. But that's not all. We can also study Einstein's relativity. When we go into totality, stars will be displaced a little bit by the sun's gravity. We can measure that. So here's how it looked just after two. You can see the moon starting to cross in front of the sun. And they'll see this the circular edge of the moon as it crosses over the disk of the sun, um, which in itself is actually a very neat thing to see. But then things started to get dark, really dark. This is a time lapse of it. Notice how the sun looks like a crescent sun, but we didn't come to just see a partial. The pinnacle is the totality, something you won't get. Even if the sun is 99.5% covered, it's not the same. As we got closer and closer to totality, off in the distance, birds started to act if it was bedtime. Shadows started to look like twilight. The temperature cooled, then through a filter on my camera, it turned from this. You may take out your eclipse shade. To this, a total solar eclipse. And if you looked off into the horizon, sunlight, an experience unlike any other. Oh my God! <laughs> I, I'm really excited. So I'm excited personally. Uh, you know, this will be my first chance to see a total solar eclipse. So, you, you know, you can bet I was going to be somewhere where it was going to be possible. And just as quickly as it came, it left. In Lordstown, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.